This is where the magic happens. Tropical Island, show me a flat 3.0. This is where we go. Please follow me. This is the Home Story Cup 20 venue for you guys. This is where we're gonna sit down, where we're gonna have a lot of fun, where we're gonna have great matches. I wanna show you around where we're gonna play, where we're gonna have the stage, where we're gonna have seating, where we have an area where we have the commentators, the hosts and everything happening. So just follow me around. Uh, I mean, not everything is set in stone so far. We came here, we have an idea of what we wanna do. I mean, first of all, this is our stage. We're gonna, most likely gonna sit down here with a few players, four to eight. Let's see how we're gonna organize it. We have a LED wall here right now. We're thinking of planning to have two more big screens on the left and on the right, so that everyone actually can watch the show. There's a small backstage area behind it. I think we might gonna put some people working there in a very heated area. The guy in the back who might work on the product, he will be really happy about it. He likes warm places. <laughs> It's Mario's. Uh, so this is a place uh, I really like. I think from here we're gonna have interview situations uh, after, uh, yeah, after pre-match interviews, post-match interviews, just some small chats. I think we can even have some bigger rounds of people talking about specific topics, all the nice stuff we can do here. It looks really nice at night. Uh, when it's a little bit more dark and this is lightning. Uh, this is really, really cool. I mean, as you can see, we have tons of space. Uh, we are planning to have, I would say, three to 400 seat seats here uh, that people can sit down. Something we usually don't have too much at Home Story Cup. People are standing around most of the time. We also have some tables here. People can stand, have a drink, have a good time. So what we want to do, separate this area. Uh, because this area should be dedicated to the players for the warm-up. I mean, we have to use all the space we have. So this would be kind of easy, I would say. Really nice is, I think this is a bar. First of all, we can sit up, uh, I would say 10, 12 PCs would make sense. And here actually is a place to grab some food for the players if they want to. They have like three different dishes here. It's really, really nice. They can just go there, grab their food, and that's, that's basically it. So you follow me. I mean, over there, even if you can't see it that nice, there's an arcade room. I mean, we have it in our venue already. It's here again. Um, then here from the back, I've just seen even a basketball machine. I'm really dedicated when it comes down there to that stuff. I, I see myself playing there quite a lot. So there's, there's stuff upstairs. I've seen this is one of the houses. I don't know. I think we have blocked it. I think we blocked it. Yes, so we even have it for ourselves. Uh, I don't know how we're gonna use it exactly. There's some stuff we don't, didn't figure out yet. But this is actually the main area where we're gonna have to show. We're gonna have everything. We try to have some cameras on, on the higher areas, perhaps on the house, houses or stuff like that. Um, so that you have a better feeling of where we are, what we're doing. So this is the heart of Homestory Cup 20. And if you didn't figure it out yet, around us is a tropical island. There's pools, there's wellness area, sauna, there's spa, there's basically everything, restaurants everywhere. Uh, I've seen ramen, we have Asia food, we have like a buffet, we have basically everything you guys need to feel very happy in this venue. So yeah, this is the Homestory Cup 20 uh, in November. Party out, friends! This is our venue for the Homestory Cup 20, the after show party itself. It's a pretty big place. Uh, capacity is around inside 600. And also, there's a good chance that we can go outside for smoking, have some umbrellas. Um, I think November and barbecue, I don't know. It could be a good idea, right? Uh, at least we have some more space here. It's in the middle of a forest. Uh, it's kind of close to the venue. You can walk here with a car or with a bus would be even better, but it takes 10 to, 10 to 15 minutes by walk. <sighs> Saturday or Sunday. I don't want to promise the day right now, but you have to be here until Monday. Anyway, let's check it out. We are inside the building. This is our after show party, which is a pretty massive place. There's a big beamer, I think, somewhere there. It looks like there's a wall at least. We have tons of seating, which we're gonna remove. 
We, I thought of having a few areas for just playing some games, having music, having a DJ, having have some finger food, and well, enough drinks for sure. I've seen restrooms. It's basically everything we need. We can also go outside. Oh, you see that? You see that? You see what's happening there? So even at night, we're gonna have uh, some games on the big wall. That would be an idea. There will be more information for you guys. We are just starting to prepare and organize everything. Everyone's gonna have the chance to get a ticket just for the after show party. The date, the timing, everything will be in a future post for you guys. I'm gonna push it as much as possible for you that you are prepared for it. I can't wait for that party. I hope to have all of you just here. See you soon.